We're going to tell you about a story that's top of mind here on the Gulf Coast, and that is an emotional story, an emotional night for a community that strongly supports our military. A ceremony with Blue Angels holding candles in honor of one of their own, Captain Jeff Coos. News 5's Alan Carter reports from Veterans Memorial Park in Pensacola. It's been a tough week for this country and the city of Pensacola in particular. Devastating. Yeah, that was, was a shock, just a complete shock. I think all of us can remember last Thursday when the news came in of what happened. And I think obviously today it is still surreal. But it's been even tougher for these pilots. A husband, a father, son, brother, a teammate, and an American warrior. In short, a hero. Thursday night was a city wrapping their arms around the Blue Angels, telling them thank you. Pensacola is more than just our hometown, it's our family. And so for, to see this support, to have the support that we've always had, but to see it come out in these numbers is amazing and, and we couldn't ask for a better town. We're behind them. Yeah. Sense of support, yeah. how much they mean to our community. Their grief from the loss of number six, Captain Jeff Coos. So tonight they'll memorialize him with words, but rest assured, they know the best way to memorialize him is in the air. As soon as possible and uh, as soon as it's safe, I guess, is a better way to say that. You know, give us some time to heal and, and we'll be back up there in the skies of Pensacola. Right. We will be back in the skies of this great nation. We will fly like warriors. We will not be scared. We will not have fear because we have Jeff on one wing and we have the city on the other. But before we do that, before we get into the skies again, we will be in the skies of Pensacola. Because this is our home, and we... This is our home, and we are your team. God bless Jeff. God bless Pensacola. God bless America. Coos's remains will be taken back to his hometown of Durango, Colorado, for a funeral this weekend. Reporting in Pensacola, Alan Carter, News 5. And you can help the family of Captain Coos by giving financially. There is a GoFundMe page. It's been up for about six days now, and they've raised more than $300,000. Their goal is to reach $500,000.